Now we're going to look at combinatorial constructions where we talk about taking subsets of uh, objects in combinatorial classes to build up new classes. Uh, this is, these constructions uh, are uh, more complicated. We didn't cover them uh, in part one. And this is an example where in the lectures we'll work at a level in between what we did at part one and what's in the purple book uh, where these theorems are just stated and proved in a few lines. Uh, so we're going to look at two additional constructs. Uh, if we have a class of unlabeled objects with their generating function A of Z, then we're going to look at two operations, the power set operation and the multi-set operation. Power set is, uh, of A is uh, the finite sets of objects from A without repetition. Uh, and the multi-set of A is the finite sets of objects from A with uh, rep repetition. Uh, and then we'll talk about what the generating functions of uh, these things are uh, after I show examples. Uh, so power sets, it's the class of all subsets of A. Uh, so uh, these are uh, examples when A is simply one atom or two atoms or three atoms or four atoms. Uh, for example, if I have all the sets of three atoms uh, and I want all the subsets of four atoms, I just take the ones that don't have the fourth one uh, and then I take that same list and I add the fourth one to it. That gives all the subsets of four, th four atoms. And you've seen this in many different guises before, but uh, it's very clear that uh, the uh, number of uh, <coughs> elements in the power set of n items is uh, 2 to the n, because uh, each time uh, we're just multiplying by 2. Uh, so, uh, or just formally uh, that we can use uh, later on to prove about the generating functions, uh, if you want the power set of m items, you take the power set of m minus 1 items and you take the Cartesian product of that with the empty set plus the empt item. That's what we're doing here. Take the empty set uh, or add the empt item uh, and that's uh, a lemma of how we construct power sets. Uh, so uh, let's look at the generating function. So if we want the power set class for uh, M atoms, that just means pick some out uh, with no repetitions. Uh, and, and so there's a bunch of atoms, each have the generating function Z. Uh, the generating function for that is uh, sum of every object into the, in the class, uh, Z to the size of that object, the number of items in the subset. Uh, or if we uh, use the fundamental idea, identity and collect the ones of size n, then that's also equal to some n greater than zero, PMN z to the n, where PMN is the number of uh, subsets of size n uh, for the m atoms. Uh, and again, this is very familiar, but let's look how it works formally with the uh, symbolic method. Uh, so uh, the lemma that I just showed is the construction. Uh, so uh, it's uh, simply uh, the empty set plus A1 uh, uh, times the empty set plus A2 and so forth times the empty set plus AM. Uh, and so that immediately translates to the generating function equation. Since the generating function, each one of these is 1 plus z, and there's m of them, that immediately gives the OGF equation pm of z equals 1 plus z to the m, uh, or the expansion, the number of subsets of size n of m items is m choose n, which is uh, familiar in elementary. So that's uh, power sets. Uh, and, uh, and, yeah, if you uh, take PM of 1, that's the total number of subsets of M, I, uh, M atoms. That's summing on N, uh, not PMN, and that's just 2 to the M. So, again, that's going to uh, confirm uh, elementary combinatorics. Uh, so a multi-set is the uh, same thing except we uh, allow repetitions. Uh, so a multi-set of uh, a single atom is just a sequence of those. A uh, multi-set of two atoms is uh, for each one of those you can add one B or two Bs or any number of Bs uh, and so forth. If repetitions are allowed. Uh, or, uh, again, uh, you, f you want the multi-set of M atoms. You take the multi-set of M minus one of them uh, and then a sequence of the last one. Uh, the sequence could be zero, one, or, or however many. 
Uh, so that's uh, the construction for a multiset. Now we can do the same thing uh, with the symbolic method uh, <coughs> the, uh, with the generating functions. And now it's going to be SMN as the number of subsets of size n uh, with repetitions allowed. Uh, and uh, the construction is just uh, sequences across of the sequences of each one of them. Uh, and what's the sequence of an atom? The generating function for the sequence of an atom is 1 over 1 minus z. Uh, so we get 1 over 1 minus z to the m. Uh, the number of atoms, uh, subsets of size n, uh, is uh, that's a, an elementary generating function expansion, uh, is just n plus n minus 1, choose n minus 1. Uh, and again, uh, you may be uh, familiar with that from elementary combinatorics. Uh, so, uh, we don't have to do that with atoms, we can do that with uh, any uh, class of unlabeled objects. Uh, so, uh, if you have uh, a class of unlabeled objects with ordinary generating function A of Z, and you take the power set of that class, then the generating function of uh, uh, the class that's formed in that way uh, is given by uh, this equation. Uh, there's two different ways to represent it. Uh, and we'll look at the proof of that uh, on the next slide. Either it's the product uh, for n bigger than 1 of 1 plus z to the n to the a nth power, uh, where a n is the number of objects of size n uh, in, the, in the original class, uh, or it's uh, exponential uh, e to the minus uh, some k greater than 1 minus 1 to k z k over k. Now we'll look at the proof of that, which is uh, not difficult uh, on the next slide. And similarly, for multiset, uh, we have a similar equation uh, where it's 1 over 1 minus e to the n to the an, which is e to that power. Uh, so uh, we're going to prove this once, but once it's proved, uh, we can apply it in the same way as the other operations that we've done for the symbolic method. Uh, these are just uh, quite a bit more complicated in terms of their formula. <coughs> so uh, let's look at the proof for uh, power sets. Uh, so, again, the power set of a class that consists of two atoms uh, is uh, just broken out either empty plus uh, the one or empty plus the other. Uh, so, uh, another way to write that is 1 plus z to the, the OGF that corresponds to that is 1 plus z to the size of A and 1 plus z to the size of B. Uh, so, th this is when uh, Bs are, are uh, atoms that have uh, whatever size. Uh, so, uh, in a power set of a uh, combinatorial class, then just extending that is the product uh, for all objects in the class of empty plus uh, the object. Uh, and so, the generating function is going to translate immediately to 1 plus z to the size of the object. And just as in the fundamental identity, uh, if we collect all the objects that have the same size, uh, there's a sub n of them. And if we sum by n, then it's 1 plus z to the n, and it's a product, and there's a sub n of them, so it's that to the a, a, a sub nth power. That's the generating function for the power set. That was the first expression uh, that we gave in the table. Or just uh, using uh, x blog, uh, you can write that expression product of 1 plus z to the n all to the a nth power as e to the quantity sum n greater equal to 0 a sub n natural log of 1 plus z to the n. And now if we expand natural log of 1 plus z to the n, uh, just Taylor's theorem, that's minus 1 to the k z to the n k over k uh, minus. Uh, so e to all that power. Now we can switch order of summation. If we switch order of summation, we have a sum on k. Inside, we have sum a n uh, z, z, z to the k to the n, uh, and that's the same as a of z to the k uh, over k times minus 1 to the k. So that's just a switching order uh, of summation. Sum a n uh, z to the n to the k to the power a of z to the k. Uh, and so that's a of z minus a z squared over 2 plus a z uh, cubed over 3 and so forth, just using uh, x blog. Uh, so that's uh, proof of uh, correspondence for uh, power sets. Uh, so 
And we could do the same thing for multisets. Uh, again, if we have just two objects, it's uh, a uh, product of sequences. So the generating function is 1 over 1 minus z to the size of the first, 1 over 1 minus z to the size of the second. Uh, and if we've got a class of objects, then uh, it's a product of sequences of uh, all the objects uh, in the class. Uh, so that's just the product of 1 over 1 minus z uh, to the size of the object. And again, if we collect uh, on n uh, then uh, br and bring all the terms of size n together, there's a to the n of them, so we get uh, the product uh, n bigger big than 0, 1 over 1 minus z to the n quantity to the an power. Uh, so that's, again, the first uh, way to express uh, the generating function for the multiset class. Or again, we can do an x log version where uh, we write it as e uh, to the sum of a n log 1 over 1 minus c to the n, uh, which is a double sum if we uh, expand uh, the log. Uh, but then if we uh, switch or order of summation, uh, then we get uh, e to the sum k bigger than 1 uh, a of z to the k uh, over k. Uh, so that's the uh, proof of correspondences for uh, multisets. Uh, so, and again, that's uh, uh, easily uh, just writing that sum out. Uh, so let's just look at an application of uh, this, of say, how many unordered trees are there with n nodes? So that's when we say, well, we don't consider uh, trees that look the same if you switch the order uh, different. Uh, so there's only four of them with four nodes. Uh, and for five nodes, there's only nine because uh, we just write down the first one of each type. Uh, every one of those has two singleton and a singleton tree below, so they're all the same. If we can switch order of nodes and get the same tree, we consider them to be the same. Uh, so uh, this one's the same as that, that one's the same as that, and so forth. Uh, so there's only nine of those. Uh, but in terms of uh, the combinatorial operations, uh, class of uh, all unordered trees, uh, it's just simply uh, uh, H, a tree is a node and a multiset of trees. Uh, and so the construction uh, immediately uh, gives us the uh, OGF equation. Now this is a complicated OGF equation, uh, but uh, with uh, the symbolic method, we uh, are immediately led to it. Uh, and then we can talk later about how to extract coefficients from such an equation. So uh, that's uh, an introduction to power sets and multisets. And next we'll take a look at uh, different types of combinatorial objects uh, using these operations.